Hi Vogue, I'm Lucas Pedroso and today I'm going to be showing you my everyday skincare, hair, and makeup routine. So I need contacts to see perfectly, so the first thing I must do every day is put these in so I can see what I'm doing. We always want our lips to be super soft and plump, so today I'm going to be using the Bite Beauty Agave Lip Scrub. Okay, next up, I'm gonna be washing my face. I do usually do this in the shower, so I'm a little bit scared because water is gonna be everywhere. But today, I'm gonna be using the Naturium Fermented Rice Enzyme Cleanser. Um, this is like an exfoliator and cleanser one. It's really gentle, it just has rice enzymes, which is truly one of my favorite like exfoliators ever, like little rice powders. Absolutely amazing. Exfoliating has kind of been the thing in skincare that I've like struggled with most. I find that I've been really like, either I do too much exfoliation or not enough. Okay, so after washing my face, I've been using the Naturium Vitamin C Complex Serum. Vitamin C is amazing for post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. And then always bring it to the neck and chest because you don't want to be looking 80 down here and 20 up here. Next up, I'm going to be using my Naturium Niacinamide Gel Cream. I absolutely love a gel cream throughout the day. I'm absolutely obsessed with gel creams because as you can see, it just makes your skin give you that glass skin effect and it's so beautiful. And especially the fact that it's summer right now, it is the perfect texture. Next, I'm gonna be using my Naturium Multipeptide Eye Cream. I feel like I always have to give the warning that eye cream really is just a moisturizer in a smaller jar, but skincare is all about self-care and using a little eye cream just makes me feel so good. And it does make your makeup lay on better because you tend to hydrate your under eyes more than with just a typical moisturizer. I do not do this every day, but today is a special occasion I'm gonna be going in with the Skin Iceland Hydro Cool Firming Eye Gels. This is probably my favorite eye mask that I've tried. This one has a little bit of a stick to it so it stays on under your eyes much better. Okay, so the first thing I do for my hair is use the Whey Curl Creme. This one is amazing and it makes my little like curls look better throughout the day. Then I already go with the Whey Matte Pomade while my hair is still damp just because I find that this like makes the curls hold better. And then I like to literally just let that sit in for like one to two minutes and then start drying my hair. And this is a great time to mention chlorophyll water. Honestly, any water, drink water to hydrate yourself. I just find it cute. And if it helps my skin and body odor, I am not opposed to it, so. Another thing that I love to do on special occasions is using an ice roller. This just depuffs my face and makes it less red. So I just do upward motions. You do not want to go like that. You want to go just up. Now I'm gonna grab a hair dryer with a diffuser and just diffuse my hair till it's dry. Okay, now I've switched the attachment and grabbed a round brush. What I do for my hair is I just go throughout and just like go like that, and then I do that on the front and the other side, and then it just gives me the little, the little look. I don't know what to call it. <laughs> Then I'm gonna be using the Way Texturizing Hairspray. And then the step, the got to be glued. A little bit because this stuff is literally like glue. That's basically all I do for hair. And then I just hope it stays like this for the rest of the day. Eye masks now come off. Now the most important step of any routine is sunscreen. This is the Elta MD UV Clear. This one is the tinted one. Then for the neck, chest, and hands, I use the Elta MD UV Sport. This one is waterproof. Sorry, you need to like remain PG, but I do need to put this on my neck. So I do like a whole pump, go into the neck, go into the chest, go into the ears, and then the back of the hands. Literally, if you're two months old or 200 years old, use your SPF. So I do obviously love me some glam with eyeliner, lashes, and everything, but my everyday look is just about looking dewy and making my skin look healthy. So the first thing I'm gonna be doing is going in with the Charlotte Tilbury Wonder Glow Primer. So I just put this like on the top of my cheekbones, on my chin, tip of the nose, and a little bit on the forehead. Next up is the product that has literally changed my whole life. I've been needing this in my life and it is the Glowish multi Dew For an everyday kind of thing, it just evens it out. I just put this on with my fingers because it's just the easiest and fastest way and for everyday application, it's just the best. Rather than just using like a stereotypical concealer, I've been using a color corrector. This one is again from Charlotte Tilbury. It is in the shade two. Next up, I'm gonna be going in with the Chanel Cream Bronzer. This stuff first of all comes in in a huge container, which is amazing. Thank you. 
Next up is the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Wand. This product really is just crazy. It's been sold out for so long and it's totally understandable. First of all, like it blends out in two seconds, watch. Do you see that? Literally like one, two, you're done. And then going in with the Highlight Wand by Charlotte Tilbury, this one is like a champagne-y color. And then I am gonna use a concealer, but I'm gonna use the tiniest bit. This is the NARS Radiant Creamy in Madeleine. And I'm gonna literally put tiny dot there, tiny dot there, there, and there. Then I'm gonna be grabbing literally the tiniest bit of setting powder. This is the Laura Mercier. And just putting this like under my eyes where it would crease. Now I'm just gonna quickly go in with the um, Anastasia Contour Kit, grabbing the Cool Toned one. And what I like to do with this is put it right here and then blend that kind of down to my nose, not all the way down, because nose contour honestly looks best when you just put it at the top. And then I go in here and kind of connect that and that kind of just like lifts your eye. Then still with this, I'm gonna grab the like light colors, just gonna mix all three. And I like to put this right here then with a smaller brush still going to those light colors, I like to put it like right here, just to kind of brighten that up, just to make sure that I look awake all day. <laughs> I've honestly struggled with my eyelashes so much. They've fallen out in the past, which was mortifying. Um, I've used a lash serum that made my eyes really dry, so I don't curl them anymore. What I do like to do to give them a lifted look, this is a really fun life hack. Grab a spoolie and literally brush your eyelashes. The product that I love the most, the Benefit Roller Lash. Um, I hate most mascaras. This one, I, chef's kiss, I love it so much. So I like to wiggle it through rather than like doing the blinking thing. That does not apply your mascara perfectly. For the bottom, I don't like re-dip into the tube. I just put on the excess that's already on the wand. For my eyebrows, I'm gonna be using the Anastasia Medium Brown um, eyebrow pencils. I like to kind of straighten out both my eyebrows. I keep trying different eyebrow gels, but I just keep coming back to it. This is the Patrick Ta. The way you activate it, you just literally grab it, spray some setting spray into it, grab just a spoolie, dip into it, kind of like rub it in, and then you just press it into your eyebrows. We're practically done now. I'm gonna be going in with the Fenty Cream Blush in the shade Petal Poppin. This is a gorgeous little pink. I kind of hesitate to share the secret because while we were in Florida, I discovered a new way to do my lips. I used to not do anything for my lips on the day to day and I'm not gonna go in with full lipstick, but let me show you. Do you see how there's naturally a shadow there? I fill in that shadow. By the way, this is the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat in the shade Iconic Nude, I think. Yeah, I really like the shade because it kind of simulates the color that my body produces like a shadow near my lips. So what I do is I really rub that out with my fingers. Do you see what just happened? It basically just creates this fake shadow up here. And then I always grab like a little bit of a wet towel. And then the Dior lip oil is my like little like everyday lip product. And then really the final step is just grabbing a little Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. I hope you have the bestest rest of your day or night and I will see you guys in my next video. Goodbye. <laughs>